Why don't you get a video? <laughs> oh, by the way. Hi from Loving Ivy Farms. This is Andrea. Bright sunny day. I wanted to get a video. Hey Junebug. Hi Sunday. Of uh, walking along. Basically, I can't push my walker up here. I have to pull it, I think. Anyway, to show you how well the Evo shift works. I sit in the shadow over here, keep the goats from going over here, simply because they have a dog, my friends have a dog that just sort of kind of showed up on their property. And he kills small animals. Um, so he's kept on a chain. Anyway. Grass is still wet, ew. But, all right. All that pushing, pulling while using this Evo shift. And believe me, if you have seen some of my uh, videos from before, <laughs> this is a definite improvement. I got this one. It's missing the little button cover, but I got this one from off of eBay for, uh, I think it was uh, $50. So with my lim limited income, that was pretty much just within the price range. Anyway, I ditched the goats yesterday. I had to do a favor for my friend. She needed a ride into town and a little bit of help. Um, so I did that so the goats didn't get to go out and about today. Uh, so they were politely hollering at me this morning. They they do look forward to their out abouts. And it's gotten a lot easier to do with... Uh, hey, Ranger, come here. It's gotten a lot easier to do with my Ranger. Yay! <laughs> so... Uh, And they're like over in the weedy area. I don't want to walk over there because I don't have my, my rubber boots on. And the grass is actually still wet at this time of the day because it is so humid in Kentucky. I mean, it's 10 o'clock in the morning is 80% humidity. And by noon, it'll be 100%. It's like breathing water. <laughs> so I don't usually come out about, about around that time. Oh, and I had, uh, was, well, I was going to post a, um, video about, uh, a particular kind of invasive plant. A lot of people, uh, use it. A lot of people use it for, uh, ornamentals, and it is toxic to goats and cows and horses. But, one thing I've noticed, my goats don't eat it. They pretty much have no interest in eating it. Stand down. Good boy. Good boy. Now that back fence. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Back there. She's got for horses. And my goats can actually just walk right underneath of it. So. But I'm not going to stress about it. Anyway. Um, I'm also posting a picture of my beautiful, beautiful acorn squash. Okay, now that I got everybody calmed down, let's do a little walk here. Um, I, I mean, really, for my money, I am pretty impressed with this Evo sh shift. Because with my lopsided gait and everything like that, I'm sure I was like giving people major headaches before. This is my tarp. I had this tarp on that, not, not that, that's my 10 by 10 gazebo, but on that shed back there uh, last winter because it covered over the sides and, and the back and all that and gave better protection against, we had a very wet um, winter. So, I mean, really in a lot of, a lot of areas, uh, close to two feet of mud and then overnight it would freeze and then you know the horses were having a problem and all that stuff so it was freezing rain 
and stuff like that. So my first winter ever with, I think, <laughs> one day of snow. And not very much of that. I mean, in Missouri, you get a lot of snow. And it was wet, and it was heavy, and it was a pain to shovel. I'll tell you that. But it's got holes in it from the corners of that metal uh, top. I really, really want to do, when I can afford it, do a portable... Uh, a portable shelter so that I can take my truck and just move it then trying to figure out how to get equipment in there into there to get out all the day um, winter bedding which I still am working on with a shovel and a pick at my own pace and it's taken forever but uh, yeah I mean even with the holes um, it'll still work for this coming winter I think I'm gonna try to patch some of the holes maybe we'll see i may have to like this biggest hole right here yeah um i may have to just cut that off but it is like it's like a 40 foot by 40 foot so not like i can afford to go out and buy another one so everybody is chomping chomping happy in the shade of the trees we'll see how long they stay over here but um, this is me and Ranger <laughs> walking about with the Evo Shift. I don't have to worry about giving you guys, uh, I don't know, motion seizures or something. At least I hope not. So, uh, ta-ta from Kentucky. And yes, just FYI, I hate the terminology, just FYI. Come next kidding season, all my babies are going to be for sale. I'm not keeping any dolings or bicklings out of next kidding season. They will be all for sale. All right. Ta-ta from Kentucky. Love y'all. Bye.